With these tensions escalating in Gaza, in the Red Sea, in Lebanon, in the region as a whole, what do you see Iran's uh, role in this war looking like going forward? Well, Iran obviously right now, I think, is pursuing a weapon of mass distraction throughout the region as it continues to pursue and develop a weapon of mass destruction. Uh, we just heard uh, from the UN nuclear watchdog that Iran has racing forward with its production of high enriched uranium. It's still working on a deep underground new facility that we suspect may be where they're going to uh, have a nuclear breakout if that facility is completed and they move their enrichment, te enrichment technology down in there. A uh, facility that we suspect, according to public reporting, is meant to be impenetrable to military strike. So there are a lot of clocks running right now clocks on whether or not we are willing to restore deterrence for international shipments going through the Red Sea, clocks on the nuclear program to ensure that this regime never acquires uh, nuclear weapons, doesn't cross the nuclear threshold, clocks uh, for Israel to restore deterrence on its northern border, clocks in Gaza as well. All these clocks are running. Meanwhile, what is our Iran policy? Are we still trying to throw money at this regime to induce better behavior? It's not working. It's not working. It hasn't worked. It has failed. Are we going to try to close down all the access to resources for this regime, try to choke the regime off of money, uh, political support, while we restore military deterrence in the region? I think that's the right policy. We haven't done it yet. The administration hasn't done it yet. Congress can start that by passing legislation that's sitting in the Senate already passed by the House. Richard, I really enjoy talking to you because you really give us that 30,000 uh, foot view. You're showing us, hey, don't look at one specific story over another. These are all connected. This is a connected web. So with that in mind, what is the most important thing that our viewers should be looking out for next? Uh, I think the number one thing to think about is what is the view from Tehran at any given moment? Does Tehran view itself on offense in the Middle East and uh, having the room uh, to continue to push the envelope in every theater where it has a terror proxy? Or does Iran feel like it's on defense, that it has to pull back? It has to put out the fires that it has started. It has to keep itself from crossing the nuclear threshold. It's afraid of its own people and instability inside the regime. I think today Iran is on offense and believes it can remain on offense for the time being. We need to flip the script on Tehran. How do you do that? Pressure and deter. Increase the economic and political pressure on the regime. Lock down all the money that's been made available. Snap back the UN sanctions uh, on the regime at the Security Council. Try to isolate it uh, in the international community. And then make sure that Tehran believes you are willing to use military tools to stop it from all of its malign activities, including its nuclear program. That might start in Yemen. It might start with an Iranian ship off the coast of Yemen. It starts maybe in Iraq and Syria. Uh, it may actually need to happen in Iran as well, uh, ultimately. Uh, but I think that's the thing to think about is, is Iran on offense? Is Iran on defense? What do its leaders perceive as U.S. Uh, will and capabilities in the region to deter them? Uh, if the administration won't take that action, Congress is going to have to take the lead here. Richard Goldberg, per usual, I really appreciate your insights. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you so much for joining me.